welcome in this video we are going to talk about kurno competition which is an example of oligopoly oligo represents that there are only few sellers in the market of course competition can take place in several ways one that along price dimension different companies can decide different prices for their product and people would go to the uh, firm to purchase item which has the lower price as well as better quality so of course competition can take place on several dimension here we will take a very simple example rather than talking about competing against one another using price we will talk about competition that takes place through quantity we will assume that there are two firms they are producing homogeneous product what does it mean they are producing exactly the same product like two ice cream wallas was selling exactly same kind of ice cream so they are selling exactly same kind of product what they decide they decide to produce different amount of quantity and of course as they are deciding about quantity they cannot decide about the price price is determined in the market so typically we assume that in market buyers would like to buy more item when the price is low and they would like to buy less item when price is high in other word there is inverse relationship between price and quantity here price is in per unit term when price is increasing less number of quantity is bought or sold so for simplicity we will assume that there is linear demand it means the relationship between p and q is given by a minus bq where a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0 and q is the total quantity produced of course it's not necessary that relationship is always linear but here we are taking simple example to understand of course competition could have taken place between two firm that they are producing the same item and one is trying to sell at p1 another is trying to sell at p2 but here life is very simple if p1 is less than p2 and they are not different on any other dimension then everyone will go to the firm which is selling the product at lower price and this is called bertrand competition so we are not talking about bertrand competition we are talking about Kurno competition which is taking along quantity dimension firm 1 produces q1 and firm 2 produces q2 together the output is q1 plus q2 and the price of each item gets decided in the market which is a minus b q1 plus q2 okay so we can think of a game in a different way we can say that game is very simple that there are two firm firm one and firm two and they are producing you know firm one has a strategy or action to produce q1 which is any number greater than zero and less than infinity and similarly firm 2 can decide to produce q2 which is any number greater than or equal to 0 but less than infinity so this can be the action set for player 1 and this is the action set for player 2 now how about payoff payoff they are interested in maximizing the profit profit is total revenue which is equal to p multiplied by unit bought or sold minus total cost we can say total cost which is a function of quantity produced we can say c of q i where i is 1 or 2 if we take the assumption of a linear demand function p can be written as a minus b q 1 plus q 2 multiplied by q i minus c q i we will assume that marginal cost or to cost to produce one unit is a small 
ci for the form i so we can write here ci qi and it increases linearly as qi increases total cost to produce qi unit linearly increases and this slope is given by ci for form i and this can be written as a minus ci minus b q1 plus q2 multiplied by qi so we have list of player their actions given their payoff given i of course is any number between 1 or or a number either 1 or 2 because these are the form now if we want to understand firm 1's payoff depends on how much form 2 is producing. Form 2's payoff also depends on how much form 1 is producing because together their quantity decision determine the price in the market. So, they its relationship is of interdependence. It matters to form 1 what form 2 is doing and form, form 2 it matters what form 1 is doing. So, it is a ripe for game theoretic analysis. So, very clearly what form 1 can do? Form 1 can form a belief and deliberately I am introducing a term belief that form 1 thinks that form 2 is producing Q2 amount. Given the form 2 is producing Q2 or let us write Q2 star amount, that is what the belief is. The firm 1 problem is going to be A minus C1 minus B Q1 plus Q2 star multiplied by Q1. Firm 1 has to choose Q1 in such a way that the profit gets maximized. But of course, this Q1 will depend on Q2. So, whatever firm 1 believes about what firm 2 is doing, from there, firm 1 can get his best response and we can draw the best response correspondence. So, if we do the optimization for firm 1, firm 1 will of course optimize with respect to Q1. What we can get? We can get A minus C minus B Q1 plus Q2. We will just keep here Q2 that firm 2 has decided and minus because once we differentiate using the multiplication rule, we can keep it as it is and differentiate with respect to Q1, we get 1 and second time we can keep Q1, that is what we do, keep Q1 and differentiate the first term with respect to Q1, we will get minus B1. So, this is minus B, that is what we will get and to maximize this is equal to 0. So, if we solve Q1 that the firm, let us say the firm, the amount of Q1 that maximizes the profit is Q1 hat can be given by A minus C because this B and B it will become 2B. So, A minus C divided by 2B minus Q2 star by 2. So, we can unnecessarily we are carrying it will be true for whatever you know firm 1 believes that if q2 is equal to 0, then firm 1 should produce a minus c by 2b. If q2 is, let us say, a minus c by 2, then q1 hat goes to 0. So, as q2 belief about what form 2 is producing varies, the optimal amount of q1 will also change. And what is that optimal amount of q1? That is the best response of form 1 given form 2 is producing q2 is a minus c by 2b minus q2 by 2 that is what it is. But we have to go further if q2 was higher than this then form 1 should not produce we can say if q2 is between 0 and a minus c by 2 and 0 if q2 happens to be greater than a minus c by 2 in that case form 1 should not be producing anything. And similarly, here of course, we have C1, I have missed, you know, for form 1's cost per unit is C1. So, we can put C1 here, here is also 1. And similarly, we can symmetrically obtain the best response from form 2 given form 1 is producing Q1 
it will be a minus c2 divided by 2b minus q1 by 2. If q1 happens to be between 0 and a minus c2 by 2 and 0 if q2 happens to be a minus c here also we have to need to put one a minus c2 by 2 and this I have used the symmetry argument. So, if we you know rather than writing on the next page it will look bit crowded, but it is good idea to try to draw here. And let us say here is q1 and here is q2. In fact, when we are drawing we have to think slightly differently from one is we are driving the firm once the best response function as a function of q2 not any q2 not of the exact q2 amount that firm 2 is producing because remember it is a simultaneous move game both firms are deciding simultaneously so firm 1 does not get to observe what firm 2 is producing firm 2 does not get to observe what firm is producing and react so therefore they have to form belief about in equilibrium their beliefs have to be right because let us say I react to thinking that other one is producing 10 unit and I am doing my best but if other produces 20 units then definitely I am not doing my best and I will have an incentive to change my behavior. So in equilibrium not only the firms would be forming or players would be forming belief about what other players are doing their beliefs have to be correct one because if their beliefs are not correct they will be giving the best response of something that is not happening and then it would not lead us to Nash equilibrium and therefore we can say that because we are calculating Nash equilibrium this q2 is the amount that form 2 is producing and this q2 is form 1 belief about what form 2 is producing both have to be the same in the equilibrium so that's what we will try to draw so here we have the best response function of form 2 as a function of q1 here from this is vertical intercept and the slope is half that is what we are getting. So, for form 2 here we have q1 here we have q2 we can draw it would look like okay this is a minus c2 and by b and this is a minus c 2 by 2b. Similarly, we can do for the form 1 it will have because q 2 is on the right hand side to draw the line on y axis we have q 2. So, we will bring it to the other side. So, if we do that the slope here is going to be higher because here we are writing as a function of q 1. So, this is going to be something like this and of course we have to think about you know this q2 is going to be 0 so you know black line has to be extended if q1 goes beyond this and the red line has to be extended like this so reaction function is this and in equilibrium, so we have to think in equilibrium, if C1 is equal to C2, then what would happen? This Q1 is A minus C by 2 minus Q2 by 2B and Q2 by 2. That is what we get. So, in if C1 is equal to C2, we can bring symmetry argument in that case q1 has to be equal to q2 and let us put it is equal to q or we can say small q. So, we will get from here 3 q by 2 is equal to a minus c remember we said c1 is equal to c2 is equal to c a minus c 2 b. So, this will get cancelled and q is going to be a minus c 3 b. So, we can say q1 is equal to q2 is equal to a minus c 3b and a minus c 3b comma a minus c 3b would be a Nash equilibrium. Further, of course, we have used symmetric argument 
it is not necessary that we reach to this result. What if C1 is not equal to C2? If C1 is not equal to C2, then let us say that C1 is much higher than C2. Then it is possible because this is, you know, this is A minus C1 uh, by 2B. That is what we are getting here. So, it is very much possible that this is inside this. In that case, what will happen that only one form, you know, we are thinking of a situation like this and situation like this. So, only one form will produce any positive amount of output. So, here there is a lot to explore. I have derived it for a general case and I have given you a sketch for what happens when C1 and C2 are not equal. It is very much possible that they still you get result in this zone, but it is also possible that you will have a corner solution and you get result on one of the axis. I, I urge you to explore these possibility, check for yourself what happens in these cases. But I hope by now you have idea how to obtain Nash equilibrium in a problem in which you have two players, many discrete strategies. What do I mean by discrete strategy? Like player one has A, B, C, player two has X, Y. So, it is a finite number of discrete strategies. We have also learned how to solve problems with many more prob many more players, players having discrete strategy or action, whichever way we want to call it. Like brass paradox, we had 4000 players and but each one of them had finite number of strategies. And just now we learned to talk about Kurno competition where there are only two firms, but they have continuous, continuous set of strategies. So, these are the different cases and that is why I have taken problem from different world. The brass paradox is let us say very much from electrical engineering as well as civil engineering transport. Although I did hotlinks location problem, I did it like it is a business, but you will see that it is also about voting. So, that example is from political world and this example is from business world. So, I hope these examples and techniques, they give you enough information to obtain Nas equilibrium in such simple game. Next week, we will talk about First, we will talk about relationship between Nash equilibrium and dominant strategy equilibrium and equilibrium that we get from iterated elimination of a strictly and weakly dominated strategies. And then we will talk about something which we which are called mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. For now, uh, all the best for your weekend, work hard, complete all the problem solving all the problems on your own. See you soon.